Morgan Stewart Shelter, mile 1440.8. morning everybody heading north out of the Morgan Stewart shelter uh, just to recap a little bit what's been going on here over the past 48 hours uh, two days ago I had hiked 14 miles into that shelter and uh, after taking some time to assess what's been going on with um, my right lower leg, my shin area, I decided to take a full zero yesterday on trail to attempt to give myself a chance uh, to heal a little bit. Still experiencing some swelling in that area and you know a fair amount of pain um, while hiking. So two days ago I just kind of sucked it up and just pushed through everything through all the pain and you know, I'm the kind of person that I'm a firm believer that, uh, you know, pain is a reminder that you are still alive. And trust me when I say I'm feeling very much alive today. Um, took the zero yesterday. Uh, again, just to try to give myself a chance to heal a little bit, maybe figure things out. Um, hit the brakes a little bit. Reassess things. I'm back on trail this morning. Goal for the day is going to be 11 miles and some change. I'm very fortunate um, that two young ladies came up behind me that I've been hiking around for some time, Pollyanna and Crazy Quilt. And uh, these girls have been having a blast out here. And they actually have their vehicles with them. And they've been doing some, uh, I guess, leapfrog or you know, flip-flopping with their vehicles to help each other out and um, give themselves the options of travel and really opens up the range um, that they can get to resupply in hotels and stuff like that. Um, I would have gone into a hotel or a hostel, but sadly there's really nothing close by to where I was at. That's why I uh, took the Zero One Trail. Fortunately for me, the girls have offered to um, take me into town here at the end of the day and get resupply and also uh, we're going to be looking for options for a hotel because tomorrow we're going to have another tropical storm coming at us. Tropical storm, whatchamacallit, I have no idea. We've had a, dealt with enough of tropical storms this year. Well, with the storm path of this one, looks like everything is projected to come through our area and tomorrow tuesday we're looking at the current forecast says two to three inches of rain so looking to pull one off trail um, give myself a chance to rest some more and recoup a little bit i'll turn the camera around here and share what i'm about to to go up here i did up that little rock outcrop right there so coming off trail it's going to give me a chance to resupply rest a little bit more um i hate to admit it but i with all the research I've done yesterday while I was in a shelter, I think I'm dealing with a shin splint. Um, and that's okay with me. My only concern is, you know, the pain doesn't concern me at all. You know, I've mentioned early on, I'll crawl to Katahdin and I don't care. My fear is injuring myself further um, with, uh, you know, with my leg. So I want to play this really smart here. Um, I'm in this for the long haul and, you know, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to drop my mileage down a little bit. Kind of is what it is. I'm going to try to keep moving forward cautiously. So I'm going to choose every step extra carefully. So um, beautiful day on trail. Grateful for every step forward that I'm able to take out here. Even this, you know, this little, little bitty hill right here um, in New York State. So uh, just going to keep uh, pushing north, everyone. And we'll check in and I'll let you know how I'm doing. And, uh, you know, I've been doing some praying out here, um, asking for some healing. And if... Uh, if you wouldn't mind praying for me, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I'd be more appreciated than you would know. Push it north. Let's do this, everyone. Let's get this done.
Nuclear Lake, everybody, mile 1445.5. Apparently, as the story goes, there was a plutonium research facility somewhere here on the shoreline back in the 1970s. And there was an explosion there in 1972. And somehow, this area has been deemed safe. I don't know if I buy that. I guess we're going to see if I have an extra toe growing when I pull my socks off this evening. Another look at Nuclear Lake from the north side of the lake. Wonder if this glows at night. Okay, everybody, drop an anchor tonight here in Fishkill, New York at the Hawthorne Suites. It's going to give me 10.9 miles of hobbling today. I'm definitely looking forward to getting this leg elevated and iced down, um, as well as getting cleaned up some laundry and a very much needed resupply. I do want to say thanks again to uh, Crazy Quilt and also Pollyanna for uh, providing the, the transportation and, and really helping me out when I absolutely needed it the most. Thank you so much, girls, and uh, looking forward to... Uh, you know, just take some time off and resting and trying to heal what I think may be possibly a shin splint. Um, also, we are keeping an eye on a tropical storm, yet another one that's coming in to possibly affect the class of 2020. We're keeping an eye on that, so this Nero may turn into a zero. Um, time will tell everyone. Thanks so much for walking with me. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching Wild on a Trail. Good night.